Now this is a great day for making electricity. Uh, it's going to blow a whole bunch harder than it is now throughout the afternoon. I think it's supposed to pick up to about 30 to 35 miles an hour. Right now it's blowing about 20. I'm across the street from my house. A little bit windy, but turbines up there cranking away. And uh, we'll go up to the house there and uh, see what we're making today. We got the best of both. We got sun and wind. Also, the solar is going to do a little bit better in a few hours, but we'll be here. But, uh, we'll go see what it's doing. Here's the stop for my uh, turbine. I can shut the thing down anytime. Sometimes it gets too windy, you need to shut it down because it actually starts to shake the house a little bit. That's my photo switch for my uh, all my outdoor lighting. It's all 12 volt. That's one of my wintertime panels. Actually, it does good in the summertime too, but it's uh, mainly for trying to keep up in the winter. And that down there is my uh, solar power vent for my uh, lead acid battery bank. This is a 24 volt battery bank. Uh, this consists of uh, 12 XIGC 135 golf cart batteries. Um, and this is mainly a grid tie system here with battery backup so these don't get exercised very much at all. Um, I do uh, I do exercise them every now and then as, as a maintenance thing and also uh, you know to test them and make sure that I haven't lost a battery. And this is the 12 volt side of my system. Uh, these are AGM batteries so they don't have to be vented at all. Uh, there's 12 of them here. These are uh, 12 uh, Concord Sun Extender batteries and these get exercised every day. They run the freezer or they run both freezers and all my 12 volt lighting and some smaller stuff around the house. And that's the uh, inverter for the uh, 24 volt and that's the grid tie inverter. This one's just mainly in standby. This one I run on invert all the time. That's my 12 volt inverter. And uh, let's look and see what we're doing here. I should push that box in so I can see what's going on. That's the uh, combination of the wind turbine and the uh, and the 12 volt solar panels. There's 300 watts of solar on the 12 volt, and uh, the wind turbine's a uh, 400 watt. So it's cranking it out pretty good today. Uh, generally, this system sometimes won't keep up, but then you know here on the Outer Banks we get a good windy day and. Uh, and we are off and running. And those are the charge controllers for my 12 volt. I can also switch my large array over to the 12 volt charge controllers if I want that battery bank to catch up. But I have to do it when it's slightly overcast because that system will overwhelm these charge controllers. As far as grid charging on my 12 volt bank, which is these, um, I can use this battery charger. Uh, this I simply plug it in or I fire up the generator. And uh, also on the 12 volt, the gauge on the right is my generator battery, which is tied into this system, but this system will not draw off of it. And uh, the one on the left is the battery bank for the 12 volt. These are the 24 volt charge controllers. They're feeding this inverter here. And this one. Uh, is taking care. This one also does its own charge, and I can use the grid or the generator will also make the charger in this charge uh, the uh, big lead acid battery bank. So right now we're bringing in uh, 630 watts on the uh, main array, which is a 1200 watt array, and uh, that's putting out uh, 25 amps at uh, 24 volts. Now if this was a 12 volt charge controller, I'd be putting out 50 amps, and it would actually overdo this charge controller. And this is what it's doing now. Uh, right now we're inverting 400 watts. So the uh, inverter is using some to uh, charge the batteries and also to operate itself. It's not as efficient as a pure grid tie system, but it's nice that it does everything automatically. And uh, the AC loads is 100, 100 plus watts. It could be 190 watts, who knows. Um, and uh, we're selling 300 back to the grid. So I don't know if the meter's going backwards or not, but uh, we can check that. And the meter is going backwards, not real fast, but you know everything's old in the house. Obviously, it's going to take off in the other direction. 
so uh, pretty cool. Those are my drums of fuel. One is uh, full of jet fuel and the other one's full of diesel fuel. It's from the generator that's on the other side. That thing is cranking. I mean, that thing is boogie. Cranking it out. It's nice when all this stuff's doing uh, doing its job and and really working for you. I did actually manage to get a whole lot of stuff in one small space. Once that bank there is rolled underneath, uh, you know, it's just basically a bunch of batteries sitting on a workbench. And uh, we're cranking her out with the wind today on the 12 volt side, and the uh, 24 volts doing good as well. Alright, well cool, I appreciate you guys coming by and uh, we'll see you next time.